Good morning, everybody. You Igbo people, you don't have hierarchies. That is why you are so rude. This statement was credited to FFK by his ex um, wife, Precious, an Igbo woman. FFK is a Yoruba gentleman. There are so many takeaways from what I heard and I want to address them for our benefits. Igbo people, like every other people in the world, we are a unique people. We have a set of traditions and customs that all together constitutes our religion and culture, which is called the Menan. This is what sets us apart from other people. The Yoruba have a set of traditions and customs called Odwifa. It guides them through life, just as Omenana is supposed to guide us through life. It was for God's sake. We have to live by Omenana to get anywhere. And in the year 2021, we have to study Omenana to really know what it is and what it is saying and what it is going to do for us. I will now get to the meat of the matter. Kayode is a very educated person. He knows what you don't have hierarchies mean. But he understands the Igbos very well. He knows he was giving a lot of credit to the Igbo people. He knows he was pointing, or he knew he was pointing at Igbos as a people that had a very high and advanced culture. But he knew that Igbos would not know what he was saying. That you don't have hierarchies only mean that you are egalitarian. It means that you are democratic. But he knew that Igbos will not understand this. He knew that Igbos will start running up and down, lying against God, lying against their ancestors, lying against themselves that they had kings. And they will put thoughts to action. They will invent, after destroying the whole of Igbo land by erecting or by Extending the warrant shift tradition, Igbos began to take it abroad. Mention the greatest democracies in the world, Igbos have set up a Zibo there. Humiliating themselves, shaming themselves, degrading themselves. Igbos, there is a lesson in this for all of us. I have said before, if Igbos had done the right thing, in the 50s and 60s, Nigerians would have emulated and imitated Igbos. Igbos took off well. When Nigeria mooted the, or when the British mooted the idea that Nigerians would have a house of lords, Igbos said, we don't have kings. Yoruba said, we will have because we have kings. Fulanese and Hausas agreed, we will have because we have them. Igbos said, no. If Igbos had maintained had retained the Omenana in the year 2021, either that Igbos are out of Nigeria or that Nigerians are practicing real democracy in imitation of Igbos or in emulation of Igbos. So, Ndibo, Mwana Mad is against us. God is against us because we are against him. Our ancestors are against us because we are against them. We have not lived up to any decent standard at all. Igbos will not learn the proper lesson from the statement by Kayode that you don't have hierarchies. By the way, what you don't have hierarchies means is that you don't have upper and lower classes. One clown visited a university in the UK and returned back and then his psycho fans began to say that he is an academic professor, one that I went through the, their posts. 
is that he was an academic visitor. The clown wrote in his um, Wikipedia page that he belongs to an upper class Igbo family. My family is in the history of my community 400 years ago, but I don't come from an upper class family. There are no upper and lower classes among the Igbos. All Igbos belong to one class. All Igbos are servants of Chuku. Every Igbo is simply a servant of Chuku, nothing more. Thank you.